Hi everyone, it's Lori. I'm back again today with another video. I'd like to say welcome if you're new here. And if you've been here before, I'd like to say welcome back. Um, today, I've got a video for you that's a comparison video. I received um, a bag from KMM and Company and also from Go Forth Goods. And they are also companies who manufacture in the United States and they do full grain leathers. So I'm going to kind of compare the Portland Leather Good bag that I, if you saw my last video, I did a bag review on the Portland Leather Goods um, Honey Tote Backpack, which I love and I still use all the time. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll try the other two that everybody seems to be so jazzed about, the um, KMM and also Go Forth Goods. So there's pros and cons for all three, but I will um, get into it. Let's start, see what we got first. Today, I think I'm gonna start with the KMM bag. This is the one that most recently came. This bag is called, I've got to cheat and look it up. It is the Copper Mini Tote. So this is the color copper. It's got lots of uh, variations in the leather. They call this pull-up, I believe. It's a slightly pebbled, but more of a, I don't know, more of a smooth, but with a little bit of texture in it. And it's more structured. It smells delicious. Um, it's got leather handles as well. And I believe the handles are the same color kind of as the bag. Um, it's got a, like a rose gold, almost copper rivets here. This button snap closure is more of a gold. So it's not like consistent, which is something that I guess it doesn't matter to a lot of people. And I guess it really doesn't matter to me, but it would have been nice if it, there was some sort of symmetry just for me. Um, that's just my personal preference, but it doesn't really, it's not a deal breaker. This does come with a snap closure, which is, is pretty good snap. Um, it has a slip pocket in the back. It's all unfinished leather. So it's got a slip pocket back here. And I believe this is like a little, you could hook your keychain here or something like along those lines. So you're not, not searching for your keys. Um, it does come with a cross body strap, but I did not remove it because um, I'm probably not going to keep this bag. And I will get into that for other reasons. Um, on the website, it says that the height is 10 inches, the width is 12 inches. So height, height um, 10, width 12, depth is four here. Um, if you're looking for the detachable crossbody strap, it says it's adjustable between 44 inches and 51 inches. This is the copper leather. It's smooth grained with a soft finish, thick and structured. Um, dimensional with a lot of pull-up. The copper is a limited edition color, so if you're interested in that color, then you don't, you have a limited amount of time, I guess. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a nice bag. I mean, I'm not super overwhelmed with it. I'm just not. I'm gonna show you the Go Forth Goods bag now, and I will show you the size comparison because there is a different size, a different comparison in the size. Um, this is, this is the front. This is the Go Forth Goods bag. This bag feels more substantial to me. I don't know what it is about the feel of this bag. I can't articulate it. It just um, feels better to me than the KMM. The KMM almost feels kind of too structured. I mean, this bag is going to, I wish I could show you. It's gonna stand up, it holds its shape. The crossbody came attached to it. It's got a thick shoulder strap here. Um, it does have the markings on the handles. I'm not sure if you'll be able to, whoops, see it? It says like their go forth goods and the cross there, GFG. Um, this also has the copper tone rivets but the button is um, more of a gold tone, and so is the grommets on the side to hold, or the, um, the D-rings on the side to hold the strap. Um, this is different in the closure, that it's got like this little button 
and it works very easily. You could do it with one hand. You could. There you go. See, I did it. Um, inside, this has more of a suede lined feeling, whereas the KMM feels a little bit more stiff. This does also come with a, it came with a keychain. They send you a little keychain. Um, it does have an inside slip pocket right here. And over on this side, it's got a key ring holder. That's very substantial. So um, the problem with this bag for me is that it came with a rather large mark back here. Um, I realize that when you are ordering these bags, um, there's to be a certain expectation of, um, you know, the life of the cow, whether he's been branded or scarred or bitten by a bug or whatever, that imperfection, imperfections are going to show up. This to me though, on the back of here is not an imperfection that should have been sent out. Um, I think that for me, um, it's more of an issue where the leather didn't take the color. It's not got the same texture as the rest of the bag. And it's only two small little spots, but for me, it's all I'm gonna see when I pick up the bag. So for that reason, this bag will go back, but I will exchange it for one that does not have this. When I spoke with Nathan, who is the owner and maker of many of these bags, he was very gracious and said to, to please return it and they will send me out a new one to just specify no imperfections. So um, let's tell you a little bit about this bag. This says the dimensions are nine in height, nine in width, and three and a half in depth. So it is a little bit smaller. Um, this color is called Mocha and I love the color. I just love, love, love the color. Um, it weighs 1.6 pounds approximately. Each bag is made to order. So the average turnaround is seven to 10 working days. Um, it does say though that if you need it sooner for any reason, send them a note and they'll do their best to, to help you. It's made in Marietta, Georgia and it's American sourced full grain six ounce leather and it's unlined. Um, it's just got a great feel to it. It's, you know, it's, it's little, but it's really all I carry. I mean, if I'm carrying a big bag, I got a lot of stuff switching around in there because I don't have that much stuff to carry. So this is what it looks like on the shoulder. And this strap is adjustable, I believe. Yep, it's adjustable. I'll tell you how many in a minute. And this is it crossbody, comfortable to carry. The leather feels really nice. I'm not gonna lie about that. I, I do love the leather. So let's see. Also, it has the Go Forth Good emblem on the, uh, the belt loop there. So there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. There are five adjustable holes for um, making the shoulder strap shorter or longer. So now I'm gonna see if I'm able to give you some kind of idea. I was looking at this earlier. So maybe if I go top to top like this, you will see the difference in the leather thickness. This leather seems much thicker to me than this leather down here, this leather over here. I just think this is a little bit more substantial. Do you see the difference? Um, it's just a nice bag, it really is. and. For the amount of money that you spend on it, you can't go wrong. So now I'm going to bring in the, hi, there's a lot of Lori right in the face there. Um, I'm gonna bring in the Portland Leather Goods tote backpack that I've been carrying. Um, this leather, I will hold up to this bag and we'll see if we can get some sort of, let's see, I'm trying to get the zipper out of the way. See if you can see the difference there. This, let's see, the zipper just doesn't want to cooperate. Let's go to this side. So the leather here is a little bit more thicker, a little, a little bit more thicker. How do you like that English? A little bit thicker than this leather down here. So for me at this point, KMM is in the 
I, I know a lot of people like KMM. I don't really like it. I don't know. It's not, it's not pulling me down their, down their lane. The Portland Leather Goods for me still seems thicker, more substantial leather. And maybe it's like comparing apples to apples because this one is a little bit more, and I'm not a, a pebbledy girl, this one is a little bit more pebbled. That doesn't bother me in this bag. So let's see if we can show you a comparison of these two. Let's see. So I think Go Forth Goods is a little bit thicker than the Portland Leather Goods but not by much, you know? Like, let's look at the straps here. I don't know if we'll be able to see it, but Portland Leather is here, Go Forth is here. They're comparable. You know, a lot of people diss on the Portland Leather Goods bag. I don't, I don't know. Quality seems pretty good to me. I love this this tote bag. It's just soft. It's um, something comfortable to carry. I enjoy the bag quite a bit. And I will keep the Go Forth Goods. I love the color. I love the shape. I love the smell. It is a very nice bag. It is a very nice bag. Um, the KMM... I'm sorry, I'm probably gonna be in the minority. People might people might not like my opinion, I'm sorry. Maybe it's just the, the, the bag shape, the style, I don't know. So with that being said, there's a comparison of all three full grain leathers. If you have any questions, if you um, have anything to contribute, if you own any of these bags and you see something I didn't see or you want me to touch on something I didn't, you know, please feel free to leave a little thing down below and I will get back to you as fast as I can. I hope you guys are all having a great day. I hope it's a great week. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up. And I appreciate it. I will talk to you soon. See you guys.